Hello, welcome back. Let us look at the lights that come on the cute bot. The cute bot has two um, RGB LEDs that they call headlights, and that's kind of where they're positioned, kind of what they look like. But it also has two RGB Neo pixels underneath, and they get treated differently. So again, we got to get our cute bot extension. So we go up into settings, we hit extensions, we search for cute bot, we pick it. And as you see, we get cute bot and we get NeoPixel. So in the cute bot for lights, there are two. Set LED headlights, the right one, the left one are both of them. I don't know why they say all. Um, to these certain colors but we also have turn off all headlights okay we also have this other one yeah yeah I'll throw it here so you can see it better I've got a micro bit plugged in and let's unplug that because it's going to keep making noise um, where you choose the color code what I mean by color code let's go here HTML color codes, RGB numbers. So right up here, so as I change colors, you're gonna see all these numbers gonna change. This is the hexadecimal number, but this is the one we can we have available to us to play with. Uh, it's how much red, how much green, and how much blue, RGB values. The values can go between zero and 255. So as you see me popping through colors, you'll see those changing. So that's where you're looking at um, for it to use here. And let's let you see this all white is basically 255 of everything. It's everything full on, full red, full green, full blue. If you want black, it's pretty much zero have zero light coming through okay so that is the idea with lights and I don't know let's just pick a color I'm just gonna throw some random numbers in here so a little bit of blue a little bit of a little bit more green and I'm sorry a little bit of red a little bit more green and a whole bunch of blue all right I'm not gonna bother with that all right, so here's what we have to do for the NeoPixels. We have to get the NeoPixels, and we have to tell the microbit that we have NeoPixels. And this is the set command. So we drop that into on start. We could put it into forever if you want. Um, if you look on the bottom of the CuteBot, it says that those NeoPixels are on pin 15. This is what we have to do. We have to tell... The, the micro bit that we've got some NeoPixels of pin 15. We have to tell it we have two NeoPixels. Because we have two. And this is the variable that we have named it, strip. We can name that anything you, you want. Just make sure you use the name whenever you call for it. Now, I want to play with some of these, uh, maybe some possible inputs from the micro bit. So you know on button presses, you know if I press button A, do all this, I can unpress button B, do all that, which is like really hard if the if the cute bot is moving to try and press a button. Um, so is this, you know, on shake kind of thing, um, on shake, logo up, like you know those aren't going to be really helpful for us. Um, now the acceleration might be if we you know get it to to like when we really start off too fast or slow down really fast kind of thing maybe um but what i was looking at was this on the microbit version 2 it's got a microphone so on a loud sound like a clap or a soft or a quiet sound so you got to play with which one you kind of want to use uh, so i'm going to use that one with my neopixels I'm trying to get over here a second. So on a loud sound, 
let's do something and I'm gonna make it do it more than once well let's just get it going um, so neopixels um, we got to tell it to show is really the big thing with with the with neopixels you don't just tell it a color you got to tell it to show the color um, so we're gonna go with I don't know, show yellow I'm gonna have it blink basically uh, so I gotta pick some time for it to be yellow um, and then I want it to be after yellow and again I can copy um, I want it to show purple I don't know that sounds good I think I'm need time now it'll do that just once unless I throw a loop in here so let's throw a loop in here let's have all of this happen like four times okay so on a loud sound four times go yellow purple yellow purple yellow purple um, and then let's have it um, basically turn off um, show color after you do it four times show a color of black and then for fun let's play some music I don't know we're just fiddling around here um, Sounds good, right, right, right? Okay, so on a loud clap that it hears, um, flash uh, my NeoPixels, yeah, both of them. We haven't gotten to how we split them up. That's a whole nother thing. Um, and then show black, basically turn them off. And do uh, play a melody. Now let's go back and talk about NeoPixels. Remember that RGB thing? Well, you can kind of do it with hue, what is it? Hue, saturation, and luminosity. That's what this HSL is. And that actually shows up down here. If you want to do more colors than what's there. Okay. Um, so where are we at? Where are we at? All right. Um, oh, I want to look at one more input. And it's this basically using this as a timer. Um, there's temperature, compass heading, light level. So like if it gets dark or light, make something happen. We can do that. Um, sound level, then you could you know beyond just loud, you could set it for numbers. But there was one I saw. Oh, it's under more. Uh, rotation magnet running time here we go use it kind of like a timer so I need an if statement if something is true well that means I need some triangular box here if my running time is I don't know let's just say greater than this is in milliseconds so 5,000 milliseconds would be five seconds if my running time is greater than five milliseconds, do something different. So right now I'm going to have both of my headlights go that color. And then when the running time gets to be more than five seconds, I'm going to change color up. I'm just trying to look at how we could use inputs differently, right? And that's going to stay that color forever after five seconds, right? Because it's in a forever loop. All right. So again, if I, had, if I detect a loud sound, I'm going to flash the NeoPixels yellow-purple four times. Then I'm going to turn them off, and then I'm going to play a tune. And then I've got this nice little forever loop that when it starts off, the headlights are going to be whatever color that is. I don't know. I was just picking, picking random numbers. Um, but if the running time gets to be bigger than five seconds, then it changes the headlight color. And then, yes, at, when, when we're on start, since we have NeoPixels, we have to tell it we have NeoPixels, where they are, and how many. So, time to... If I plug my micro bit in... I have my micro bit already connected. 
you know, this little dot here. Um, so that when I download, it downloads directly to the micro bit. So next we will plug it into the QBot and see what happens. So hello, I've got my QBot there. I put some um, light codes for the lights on it. fuzzy here so again here we go lights are going to be one color for five seconds and then there was my code that said if the time gets to be more than five seconds change colors that's going to stay that color forever and I also had a So I used the, the microphone sensor on the micro bit to on loud. And play a tune. So there is using the headlights and the neo pixels.